Soundwave 884 here. In this review, I'm taking a look at my least wanted release from the Studio Series 86 line, and that would be Cup. Now, the pictures you looked at is like, is that really his face? I wonder if Cup is going to be one of those figures where you, know, you see the pictures, you're like, yeah, that's hideous. But when you get it in hand, see it in person, that it improves or looks better. And while you're here, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Also, while you're down there, click the thumbs up button. Also, leave a comment down below. Let's get to the review. All right, so here is the packaging for Studio Series 86 Cup. We got some nice artwork here. Now, when you see the artwork, you're like, if only the face looked like that face. That kind of looks more like the uh, Titans Returns or the, uh, not the Titans Returns, but the uh, Takara Legends face there. It's 8602 Transform Movie logo. He's got the octopus back there, so when he fights the octopus, you get the reenacted scene because the pieces of the cup do get to come off. Artwork here, more artwork here at 86. 21 steps gets you all the way around is the Sea Squid Showdown Cup. And it'll say right here, Cup struggles to free himself from the tentacles of a giant squid. You remember Hot Rod had to come help him, so he'll be there with Hot Rod. So let's take a look at the figure. Alright, so here's the actual figure of Cup. Now, like I said, I was very displeased to see the pictures of the head sculpt. Now, in hand, I'll say it does look a lot better better in hand so and don't be totally discouraged by the photos get them in hand and once you have them in hand the face isn't so distracting or long looking yes he's got a very long chin yes maybe they could have shortened that up a little bit especially be like the um, cover of his box art there and i think it would improve it slightly but otherwise it's not bad it's like an old timer saggy face he's just really just not in a good mood i don't like you yeah so overall he's awfully thin but that is no uh, different than like his uh the car version they're both very thin bots he's got a little bit of a backpack that's just to form the back part of the car at least this version you don't get a visible hand syndrome now you turn to the back he does get a little waffly uh, people who might have uh, like tryptophobia fear of holes or something this could set you off maybe because the back of his arms are pretty hollow his back of his his butt is really hollow, and he's got some right there as well. Uh, otherwise, side view, front view, not bad at all. We'll take a closer look here at his head skull so you can enjoy his ugliness. It's not bad. Uh, the eyes, you can say, look dead. But that's because he has a light piping. He's got some blue eyes, and there's some light piping here. I'm going to get some light to shine through that. There's the light piping effect on Cub. You can see how it comes around to the back, and the eyes light up. Yeah... His isn't as good as some of the other ones because the light piping is so much in the middle of the back of his head that you really got to have a, a, a good light source in the back. And right here, most of my lights are coming from the front, so I had to use a flashlight to get to the back. Uh, people have, I've seen people not liking that his arms are kind of droopy, but it is sort of going with the animation model there. Uh, going down to the legs and some more looks of the figure. And he's very nice. I mean, he's got large hands, but that seems to be a running trend on... Uh, Transformer Cups figures lately. These have overly big hands. And you know what they say about a guy with big hands and big feet? So let's do a little comparison here with his original animation model. And here he is next to Takara Legends Cup. Now Takara Legends Cup is going to be beefier. He's a little bit thicker. He's, he's been doing... He hasn't been skipping leg day. You can see he's got them huge calves down there. He's, again, he's got the oversized hands. That's, that's, even the Titans Returns version of Cup had really big hands. Uh, he's got the colorations down. So he's more of this uh, minty green all over where he's got more of a, I don't know, a, a creamy uh, green there. Creamy mint. Uh, head sculpts. I like them both. I couldn't really go. I mean, I'd say just by looking at pictures, I'd always choose this head over this head. But after having them in person, uh, this head is is very fine. It, it suits the figure just fine. Turn to the side. A little side view. Now he's got that little tiny backpack, but he's got these big, huge calves. Like he's been like really pushing and pulling some stuff here. Turn to the back. I mean, it's it is what it is. There, we'll just keep going. I uh, turn inside here and back to the front. So, like I said, I like them both. And I think overall this Cup Studio Series Cup is going to win out as my new Cup. I just think he kind of ticks the more of a nostalgic box with the colors and the overall look of the figure. It just looks like a more animation correct Cup. And you know me, if you watch my channel, I kind of lean towards the animation going for the cartoon look. 
Here he is next to G1 Cup. G1 Cup, of course, has the different colors. He's more of a, like, neon kind of green than the colors we get got in the cartoon. Head sculpt. This is more in line with the Tiger Turn release in terms of colors. Uh, head sculpt. I mean, Cup's always had a, just a really bad head. <laughs> next, the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. Uh, that's a really nice look. Putting them two together really makes you feel like I need, I need to go watch the movie. I'm going to pause my, my uh, recording and go watch the movie. And with Earthrise RC thrown into the mix. Now for accessories with your cup, you get his little stash of Energon goodies. Which you can get your Alicons and recreate that scene there with him handing out uh, his Energon goodies. And it just has a pegger here. Of course you just peg it right into his hand. Either hand will do. And you get his trusty gun, his G, his blaster, which is actually very close to the G1. This is the G1 blaster came with Cup. Now, G1 is a lot bigger, but they is modeled very much just like that. So, you just grab your cup, put it in either hand, whichever one you have available. And there you go. Now, his gun has a really tiny barrel, so the blast effect it can be supported, engulfs most of it, and it really hangs on very loosely. It just, you know, slides right over that. So, just be aware of that. It's kind of limp. Well, in my old age, things tend to get limp. Yeah. Now, not really shown in the instruction, but you can um, pop his arms off. So, you can uh, truly reenact the scene and his legs here too the set of swivels of uh, him being without parts so hot rod can fix him up and hey let's do scramble city style stuff here on cup you can put his legs right back there <laughs> fix me all right so uh, articulation on the guy you can see where the thigh swivels and elbow uh bicep swivels come from the parts that you take off uh, he's got elbow bends to there. No wrist swivels. As this is all one molded piece. His hands are painted, so beware of that. You might scratch some paint off. But they are just one molded piece with his arms. Uh, shoulders go <laughs> broken to the back. Oh, don't untap it, though. Uh, so you can bend them all the way the other way. And 360 suckers all the way around the wrong way there. We'll bring them back down. You do stop untabbing. Just that one side wants to come untab. You do get a 360 waist swivel. It's pretty tight. Uh, hips full splits. You're going to get kick out pretty far to the front, uh, very far to the back. Knee bends about 90 degrees. Ankle tilts come to here. And his head uh, is a slide up, not really a down. And you can 360 this bad boy all around. All right, so a very nice figure. Lots of paint on the copy. You know, they did a lot of paint work on this figure. So just beware of certain things when you're doing things here. Now you don't want to scratch up the paint and stuff. That's a nice figure. I know, just for this one piece that doesn't want to stay tabbed in. There. All right, so let's get the Transforming Studio Series Cup. It's very complicated. First thing you want to do. <laughs> it's not very complicated. Turn his head 180 to the back. Now you want to do the untapping part and bring these up to the sides here. Come around to the back. This piece here, you want to untab that. You see these two tabs go right in these two slots here. And you want to unfold this piece out like so. And you want to come here. These are his front tires. You will now bring these out from here. Now they are actually go into this chest cavity. And these little tabs here will actually catch into these little slots you see right there. These come out. There's tabs here on the side. We'll go in these little slots there. Just Tab that in on the sides. Now up here on these shoulder pieces, you see there's a little line here. That's because this here, well, you want to bring that out like this. And after you do that, you want to take his arm, and you're just going to now just bring the arm around like that. You want to lay that piece out. So you want to bring this piece out. This side's tighter than that side. And then just bring his arm back by leaving uh, those pieces out like that. Now you want to come here and bend him at the waist like this. And you want to try to get this in. It kind of just goes over all this. So you can just kind of 
close that down try to make this as even as possible here now you're gonna take this piece here you're gonna bring it up it's gonna hide his head and you see these little tabs here are gonna slot in right up here and you see it's going to form uh, the uh, top part of the vehicle so like maybe <laughs> line it up get it in all right now you're gonna take these side pieces here this is going to fold in you see how it's got a curvature and i untap that of course i did why would i not untap something uh, and you just bring these arms in and that fills in that slot here and you can see his arms now we'll just go down here now you can come down and work on the legs pull uh, his feet in like that open this piece off here then you can see there is a tab here now there are actually two sets of slots that tab it in and it goes in the top part not the top part the um, bottom one in robot mode but when you go into vehicle mode you take that and the leg kind of goes kind of you kick it to the side like that now the tab will go into the other one. Like that. So kick to the side. And just re-tab it in. And it's going to angle his legs. His arms are going to go in between his legs in a vehicle mode. Just push his legs and stuff. His arms and his body are going to fold all the way through going to his legs. This right here you're going to take and you're going to bring this forward. There's a tab here in the front that's going to go right inside this little slot here. And then there's a tab down here that's going to catch onto that like so. And you just want to line that up with this as well and tab that in. And this is all about lining it all up. And that's just probably the hardest part you're going to actually do. Got that in. Now you want to bring this down and that will tab in on that and there's also a tab here it's going to catch behind uh, this uh, piece here go to the other side same thing here bring this up we want to tab that into there if you were the plastic is very thin filling on these pieces so don't apply too much pressure. Get them snapped in. And it says this hard part is just getting it all lined up. And these parts here are going to fold in. You see there's two tabs and there's two tabs. So you just want to line them up. And these big tabs underneath are going to go into the fists of his hands. And this is going to form the back part here of the pickup. These little old timey pickup Cybertronian pickup mode. See how you tab those together. Come down. The hands are now just going to lock into those little tabs. There. Like that. And you can see he's kind of coming on the tab. So now again, just try to line up all his tabs. And just tab them all back together. And once you have done that, you will have transformed Cup into his vehicle mode. Alright, so with Cup in his alt mode, it is a very nice alt mode indeed. It's got the Autobot logos on each side, which is a animation model and cartoon accurate. Got his Autobot logo here. Uh, maybe the only problem would be the stuff inside his chest. I kind of wish maybe they just painted the whole bit of plastic here that color. I think I would prefer that in for the look in robot mode and in vehicle mode. Um, I want to say just get him transformed to his mode. There's a lot of thin plastic. It's like back here. It's very thin. Um, little panels you have to adjust up. Very thin. So just beware of the thin plastic and then. You just want to line up exactly properly there so all the wheels don't really touch the ground at one time. But he rolls okay when you can get him down there. He also has, like I showed on my uh, Bumblebee and Spite Wit, Wii, Spite Wit Wiki 2-pack, the wheels have this extra, they're like an extra little coating on them to make them appear rubbery, you can say. It just has a different like little matte kind of finish on them instead of just being straight, you no know, black plastic. It's just got a little bit of some kind of coating or look to it just to make it look more like an actual uh, tire. You can see where it's kind of applied to it. You can see where there's gaps in it and stuff. And it's on all four tires here. Now, you if you get his accessories, you can now tab them in. These little things on the side. You just take these little tabs and you can place them right here on the uh, sides of the vehicle mode 
the gun pretty much has to go on this side because the way the tab is only on one side of the gun. Now you can put the other side, but the gun will just face the barrel. Of the gun will just face backwards. There we go. Uh, like I said, the details are nice. It does look pretty close to his animation model. We'll show that off real quick. Man, I need to turn it just slightly like that. And we'll do some other comparisons. Here he is next to G1 Cup. Now, G1 Cup has different colorings than he did in the cartoons. Now, the earlier animation model had a sort of a greenish, more of a bright green to it, which was kind of closer to this. This is more like a mint green, more than an uh, actual green green. But some of the uh, you know, Autobot logos on the sides and stuff will mimic that. Now, I need some new stickers. Yes, I know. I need to visit Toy Hacks. But not bad. Next to the comparison, most people probably want to see this is Takara Legends Cup, uh, their version of the Titans Returns Cup, which the Hasbro version was closer to the G1 toy here in America. Now, over in Japan, they did it closer to the animation colors. And as you can see, it is pretty close. I think the greens or this little kind of creamish color here is better on the Studio Series than it is on uh, the Takara version. I think you, know, you can't really go wrong with either one. I do like the overall look of the Studio Series more. Now this one here is going to give you that beefier alt mode. Uh, it's just got like visible hand syndrome going on there. But you got nice painted tail lights on this version. And you get, this is supposed to be the tail lights. But I think in the cartoon this is actually yellow. Not this creamish color here. But yeah, like I said, either one is really nice. Uh, you could, couldn't really go wrong with either. Now, this one's a little bit bigger and beefier in vehicle mode. And, of course, also in the robot mode, it's just a little bit bigger. All right, so final thoughts here on Studio Series 8602 Cup. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by the figure. I actually like it, and I think I like it more than the Takara Legends. I know I like the alt mode more. I'm not sure I'm as much of a fan of the transformation more just because of the thin plastic on it. But I think I was so underwhelmed by the actual pictures of Cup that when I got it in hand, I was like, oh, this is better than I thought it would be. And I think that's kind of, that kind of helped. The underwhelming feelings from the pictures really helped me to enjoy this toy. I'm not like, yeah, this toy's going to be awesome. Then you get it out and you're like, this isn't awesome. So I think just being, you know, not having your hopes too high definitely helps this figure out immensely. Uh, here he is with the Alicons offering them the inner John Goodies. He's back in Hot Rod Off. Uh, I think the scenes you're going to be able to recreate with this cup, and it comes with that little accessory. That one little accessory I think helps a lot to, you know, for some photography and pictures you might want to pose them with on the shelves and stuff. It's, it's a nice cup. It's got the light piping for the eyes, which is always nice. It's just I think it's, it's a bit too low in the back of the head to really get it to shine. And when I say he is a welcome purchase, and he's probably most likely going to replace my Takara Legends cup on my shelf. Uh, Takari Legends Cup still really nice. I really need to put them together and just look at the pros and cons on each figure to figure out which one is actually the better figure. But as of right now, the new Studio Series is going to slide right into my shelves as my cup. And I say thanks for watching this review. If you see them on the pegs in the stores, don't hesitate to pick them up. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Till the next one. Peace out.